Ever wondered where all those dang zombies come from when you're just trying to survive? Ever wanted to be on the other side of the rickety wooden palisade that encircles your camp? Wouldn't it be just amazing to get rid of Bob, who was always so annoying with his rickety guitar every single night around the fire? If your answer is yes to any of the previous questions, come join us. Take control of the zombie horde and go get rid of Bob. Kill as many stray survivors as you can. Come up with new zombie combinations to fully unlock your creative brain-eating potential. The only limit is your appetite for tasty brains and fingers. Do your part to build a new zombie paradise. To do so, you have a couple of tools to your disposal. First, you can spawn in zombies by left-clicking, dragging, and releasing. They'll go after the nearest human they can find. Also, you'll notice that you won't be able to spawn in zombies on the upper left half of the map. Next, Z Corp does care about you, so they'll regularly send a little shipment of fingers to help you along in case you need it. Next, if you want to have a bird's eye view of the whole map to better plan out your strategies, you can do so by tapping Alt. On that note, if you want to rotate your camera, press Q and E, you have a better view of the situation. Next, let's talk about the tree. The tree is vital for your survival. After all, it's where you, the manager of the zombies, reside. However, humans will spawn in robot waves to come attack your tree. To defend against these waves, you only need to spawn in some zombies. They'll uh, treat the robots as a human and they will go after them if they're close enough. However, if you want more firepower for your tree, you can go down to the research menu and research tree attack. The tree will then be able to attack every robot that is attacking it. Speaking of the research menu, if you go down to the research menu, you'll see that you have a plethora of different research options. Options like attack, like reducing cost, increasing speed, increasing health of your zombies, However, the research menu does not affect currently spawned zombies. It only affects the zombies that are created in the part creation menu. To access the part creation menu, click on the bottom right button. Then you'll see the potion room appear. From there, you'll see two things. One is the type of part that you want to create. So be it a torso, a head, uh, legs or arms and the number of brains you want to invest. The more brains you invest, the higher your chances are of getting a good part. Having created your zombie parts, go down to the creation menu where you'll be able to configure your zombie as you like. From there, just go back up to the map and you'll be able to spawn in the zombie that you set in the creation menu. After having created the perfect zombie for your deeds, you'll see that on the top left part of the map is the human base. It's where most of the humans reside and it's where the robots spawn. Be careful if you don't have a strong enough force to get into the human base, your zombies will get killed pretty easily by gunshots. To conclude, I hope you like this little overview of Zombie Paradise and its mechanics. If you want to check out the game as it is, so the first level, and give some feedback, you can always do so by downloading the game with the link in the description. Thank you, and have a very nice apocalypse.